Hey everyone, welcome back to JLake 3 d So lately we've been working a lot on custom text, rounded text in Shaper, and I've shown you how to extrude it, and I've shown you how to replace the face. Let me show you one more trick that you might find super useful for something super custom. So let's say we have this object. You've probably seen this if you watch my tutorials, but this is a pretty unique shape that it would be extremely difficult to replace face because you would need to split your object into hundreds of little squares before you can make that happen, right? But there's an easier way to do it. So what we need to do, let's say we go to the top here, we want to add some text. So usually they was in the add menu. Now they moved it to the sketch menu. So now we go to text in the sketch menu. We type in, let's do shaper 3D. Uh, just because that's what we're working on right now anyways. Uh, I already did this text in the previous model just recently, so this should work just fine. Uh, we just need to adjust the size. So let's say we put it here close to the center, and I do want to actually scale it and rotate it a bit just to show you guys how it works. Let's see about this, and then rotate so we have it a little bit on the side there. So I guess we have to scale it down just a tad. So it's like that. All right, and next we want to, uh, let's hide this so it's not in our way for now. So we want to extrude that obviously, and typically you just select it and extrude it, right? But let's say you have a big paragraph or something. Uh, well, you want to select everything, right? However, that only selects the edges and does not let you extrude. So you just wasted your time. But a workaround is if you go to Tools and Extrude and then select everything, it does let you extrude it. However, you need to deselect the parts that you don't want to extrude it. So, for example, the insides of letters. But it does let us extrude here. So once we have that, we click Done. And let's unhide our object. And so here's another handy tool that you guys might not use too often, intersect. So tools, intersect, we select everything. And then make sure you select this piece again. And we have this situation here. And as you can see, it was pretty easy and everything worked. But there are situations where it glitches and it does not work. But uh, as you can see, custom shapes, custom skins right this is a cool way to do it but let me show you a workaround so let's say in this case if it refuses to do it because i've had a project where for example all of the letters worked for example except for one let's say we have this one that doesn't work right and we need to make it work so let's say we go to intersect we select these pieces make sure these are purple and then this one so we have that intersection, right? Uh, before we do that, we need to make a copy first of all. So let's say we move it by five. Let's do 700 so we remember easily. And when we go to Tools, Intersect, select these pieces. Make sure these ones are purple. And then this one is blue. Click Done. And let's pretend that this one refuses to do Intersect because of whatever glitch, even though it should technically work, right? But let's make this back at 700 like we planned so we go to tools subtract so subtract from this body this body that's what we want to do however we need to extrude first or extrude or lower depending on how you want to do it so tools subtract from this body this body next we we technically can hide it we don't need to delete it just now but as you can see we have this same edge that we want on the top right Next, we simply pull this up or extrude it. Tools, subtract again from this body, this body. And then we delete this top one now that we have that reference. And we tools, replace face, the bottom piece to match the normal pieces. So we have our piece, even if there's a mistake, there is a workaround to fix it usually. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye -bye. Here at JLake 3 d our goal is to inspire and empower you to create your own amazing projects. Please support our work so that we can keep doing it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to see more.